Welcome guys to the Mythbusters series episode 10. Today in this video, we will be taking a look at some of the interesting myths that might be useful to you, and some are completely useless but fun to know. Starting with the first myth, your bullets will deal less damage at long range, weapons damage decreases over distance. Okay so this is something that I have seen a lot of people are talking about, and you're probably wondering whether the damage gets affected by distance or not. Let's find that out, for this test we are using M416, and currently the enemy is around 10 meters away. If I hit a headshot with no helmet it will deal 94.2 damage to the opponent. And now the enemy is over 300 meters away. If I hit the same headshot again from 300 meters, it will deal 84.9 damage to the opponent. And by looking at these results we can clearly see that the damage is slightly reduced by around 10% at long range, so the myth is confirmed, the damage will get affected by distance. So the M416 will lose around 10% of its damage at 300 meters away by the way these results are specifically for M416 other weapons may lose more damage. Anyway moving on to the next myth, if you carry your teammate with piggyback option, you won't make any footstep sounds. Alright so first let's check footsteps sound in my perspective as well as on the enemy's perspective. So in my view I don't hear my own footsteps it's completely silent. And now let's check on enemy's perspective. Once again it's the same results, no footsteps sound as you can see. So the myth is confirmed nobody can hear your footsteps while carrying someone with piggyback option, but this might be fixed very soon. If you piggyback carry a knock teammate and stood on top of a grenade, your teammate will not take any damage from the grenade. So here I'm carrying my teammate and there is a grenade right below me and when the grenade blows up technically we both should die, but let's see what happens. Alright so when we look in slow motion, my teammate whom I'm carrying didn't get any damage from the grenade at all, you can see the health on top left corner. So the myth is confirmed. Now to the next myth, if you carry a knocked player in mirror island and jump off of the island while carrying, the player will die permanently, they will not respawn again. Right now I'm carrying my teammate, and I'll jump off the island, so we can see exactly what happens, at a certain height the gliding option activates, and the player whom you carrying will fall down, their parachute won't activate, since they are knocked, and the player will die due to the fall damage once they reach to the ground. But however they will still respawn again, so the myth is busted, you can't permanently kill enemies by doing this method. Anyway now to the next myth, bots in champion island enforcers and firelights will not attack you, unless you attack them first, except the shimmer berserker they go crazy. Ok so now we are in champion island, and I'm literally moving next to these bots, and they seem like they don't care at all. But the moment you start shooting they will start fighting back. So the myth is confirmed, so you can actually go to these camps and loot their chests without engaging in a fight. Moving on to the next myth, you can restore the gas can's health, by picking it up before it explodes, this is very obvious, but the gas can requires certain amount of bullets to blow up, with Scar Al it's 5 shots. So I'm gonna fire 4 rounds and I'll pick it up, and place it back exactly where it was before, and it should blow up with 1 bullet now, but it didn't, so the myth is confirmed. You can restore the gas can's health by picking it up, but why, maybe this might be helpful, when you bait your enemies with gas can. But just a quick reminder gas can can only do up to 99% of damage, so even if the gas can blows up, if your enemies have 100% health, they will still survive, so beware of that. Moving on to the next myth, you can enter Champion Island multiple times, if you voluntarily exit instead of getting killed. If your health is low, and about to get killed, exit the Champion Island, and now you can re-enter the same Champion Island with full health. So you can exit the champion island and re-enter again and again until the island disappears, so the myth is confirmed, but always try to stay on edges while doing this, so you can instantly exit whenever you're low on health, however sometimes it randomly teleports you far away from the portal, so that is something you need to be aware of. Moving on to the next myth, you can break a shield by throwing your pan, normally if you hit the shield 5 times with a pan it breaks, but let's try to break the shield by throwing a pan. Ok so it doesn't do any damage when you throw a pan, so the myth is busted, by the way you can also break the shield by punching it. Moving on to the next myth, hex crystals do not regenerate in champion island when it is outside zone. 
Right now I'm in the Champion Island which is in Blue Zone, according to the myth, if I pick up these Hex Crystals they will not respawn back when it's in Blue Zone. But however they are still respawning, so the myth is busted. Now to the last myth, if you drive UAZ at high speed towards the Hero Portal and exit, you don't lose your health and you will directly jump into Hero Portal like You can use almost any vehicle and drive towards the portal like this, as soon as you get close to the portal, if you exit, you will jump into the portal and teleport into the Champion Island example like this, and you will not lose any health, even if you lose your HP, it will be recovered since you're going to Champion Island. So the myth is confirmed. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, see you guys in the next one, enjoy my bot gameplay. Discuss.